why does God allow bad things to happen to good people if he's truly a loving God? This is one of the biggest arguments most atheists have when it comes to trying to disprove God. They'll be like, well, if he's such a loving God, then why does he allow bad things to happen to good people? And why does he allow this, that, and murder, children's deaths, all that, right? They blame it all on God, but I can break it down. We have to go all the way back to the beginning. When we describe God, the number one thing about God is he's fair. I would say he's fair before he's loving. He's loving, but I would put fair in front of it. He's a fair God. He's a loving God, but I will never call him a good God because he created evil. Yes, he created evil, but not with the intentions that all this was going to happen. Back in Genesis, literally the first page in the book it tells you he created the heavens and the earth it was good he created the animals it was good he created man it was good he created everything and he seen that it was good we know that god is a fair god he wants to be fair and he wants us to give he want to give us free will to have free will that means we need to make a choice and at the time, there was no such thing as bad. He had to create evil. That's why he let the devil um, fall. That's why he created the devil in general. Because some people be like, well, if God knows everything, why did he create the devil? He should have just left the devil out of the whole equation and there, would, there wouldn't even be a need for hell. But the thing is, like it says in Genesis, if you have a Bible, open it to the very first page. It tells you everything he created. He saw that it was good. It was good. Well, we know that if God is a fair God and he wants to give us free will, he has to give us a choice. So to have a choice, that means there's two things on opposite spectrums. So if there's good, then that means there needs to be bad. And we sit in the middle and we have to choose. Do we want to follow that good or do we want to follow that bad? That's why he had to make evil. Because think about it. Without evil, there would, I mean, there would be no bad. There would be no choice but to be good. And, you know, you know, the way I think of it, I mean, I don't see a problem with that. But if you want to be technical, if there was no such thing as bad, then technically God wouldn't be a fair God because we would have no choice but to be good and he doesn't want to force us to be good he wants us to choose him he doesn't want to force us to choose him that's the thing that's why he created evil that's why he created the devil that's why he allowed the devil into the um garden to deceive um eve and then she brought it back to adam and then from that point on yes god created evil but he did it with the intentions of humans not falling into the temptation of evil but we all know how that went at that moment humans became corrupt and everything god created well except every, but like this this world everything on this world became corrupt at that moment that's where cancer comes from murder the first murders Cain and Abel that's where all of this came from it stems back from the sin yes there there was evil but God's intentions wasn't for the world to be like this he had to create evil to give us a choice he didn't want us to pick the evil we picked the evil that's our fault that's not God so I never understand why people blame God when it was our fault we picked it he had to create evil because if he didn't he would be forcing us to be good and he wants to be a fair god which he is we have free will every day i can choose to do good or i can choose to do bad that's free will i can choose to follow god or i can choose to follow the devil free will that's why this world is so corrupt god created evil yes but he created it in order for us to have a choice he didn't want us to actually go and pick evil we're the ones that picked evil so it's our fault the world is like this god didn't make the world like this we made it like this 
we allowed sin into the world and it corrupted the world it corrupted people it corrupted everything in this world that's why kids die that, that's why we die in general period that's why we die but kids die cancer all, all these bad things you have bad people murderers serial killers all these that that's why all, all this came from sin god did not intend for it to go this way but yet it seems like everybody wants to blame god when it's not god's fault he gave us the choice we made the wrong decision so we're to blame not him and that's why evil happens in your life just because something bad happens in your life doesn't mean god's the cause of it god will guide you through it but at the end of the day we're, we're all suffering this 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 world is corrupt this world is corrupt we got to look over our shoulder to make sure we're not about to get robbed or killed or anything else we always got to pay attention to our surroundings there's so many school shootings and all this other bad stuff all this is of the world it's not of god so why people blame god it doesn't make sense if you look at it it makes sense he's fair well in order to be fair you have to give a choice but we know in genesis when he created everything he said that everything was good well if everything was good then that means there has to be something of the opposite that way we have the choice do we want to pick this or do we want to pick this and sadly we went the wrong direction and that's why the world is the way it is now and that's why bad things happen in your life because of this world not because of god so don't blame god do not blame god if anything thank him because he would he will deliver you from these worldly things as long as you let him so next time something bad happens instead of blaming god if anything you should blame the devil but next time something bad happens, instead of getting mad, instead of blaming God, if anything, blame the devil. Thank God and show him your gratitude because he will deliver you from your pain, from your suffering. He will deliver you through these negative worldly things that we all go through. But with that, God loves you. I'm out.